Hello guys and welcome back to the madness that is my Freelander EV project and this time we're looking at bricks and in particular we're looking at the, um, the vacuum assist for the bricks. Uh, as you know I have removed the engine from my Freelander it is now engineless. Uh, the last time it was on we were looking at this power steering uh, solution um, if you haven't seen that, take a look at my previous video. But basically what we're doing is we're driving the Freelander power steering pump using an alternator, uh, which has been converted to be a three-phase motor and is being driven by an e-bike controller. And up there we have an e-bike battery. So that whole thing is uh, just driving this um, Freelander uh, it's not it's not even a Freelander pump. I think it came from a Reynolds or the alternator I think it came from a Reynolds But we're using that to drive the Freelander uh, power steering pump But anyway, I digress This is what we're looking at today and What this is is it's pretty simple um, This is a electric 12 volt uh, vacuum pump from an Audi I'll let you see the part number there. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. There you go. So that's uh, an Audi vacuum pump. And following along, this is, don't worry about this loop, it's just there to, <laughs> to join these two things together and stop the uh, vacuum from escaping. This is a one-way valve, vacuum valve, which apparently works very well because uh, after the car was sitting for a couple of months, I cut the vacuum pipe and there was a whoosh as the vacuum escaped. So this seems to be working very well. Anyway, this is the Freelander vacuum chamber. Basically gives you a couple of pumps of the brakes, even if the, um, the engine and the power and everything goes off. And... Following this round, it's going to a uh, it's another Audi part. Uh, on this occasion, it is an Audi sensor, vacuum sensor, and this would then connect to the uh, the brake boost uh, for the for the the, the brakes. Uh, what do you call it? The um, vacuum chamber whatever it is anyway that goes that goes to your brakes but what this these cables do is they are going through to this little sensor and what this or sorry this um, circuit board and what this circuit board does is it detects a voltage from the sensor and depending on the voltage coming from the sensor it decides whether or not to drive the pump so at the moment you can see there is 2.1 volts coming from the sensor to the circuit board. And what will happen is if I was to take this Velcro off here, that would allow air to get in, vacuum is gone, and that voltage would then rise to about 4 volts. So let's try that and see what happens. Okay, the pump has started, and we're up to 3.8 volts. So I'll put that back on again. Sort of on. Um, but anyway, that's, that's what happens. Basically, you put your foot on the brake. Some of the vacuum will then be used to assist your brakes. And... Hopefully this will be sufficient to get maybe two or three uh, pumps of the brakes before the pump has to come back on again. It remains to be seen how that will work, but hopefully that will be it. Um, and just to prove that this one-way valve does actually work, if I was to take that off... You can see there is no change to the... Um, no change to... The sensor reading here. So the vacuum in this chamber 
this chamber and right along this pipe is all still intact. So it doesn't even matter if this pump is a wee bit leaky or anything like that because this one-way valve will uh, will keep it keep the, keep the vacuum in the chamber. Now I think this is the correct way to have everything linked up. And I think this is the correct position for the sensor on the brake boost side of the chamber. If you know different, let me know. Put a, put a wee message down in the comments. But hopefully this is correct. And if it is, then this will, uh, this will be the solution we're going to go with. So the next step would be to fit everything into the car. But uh, I want to confirm that this is correct before I go ahead and do that because you know, it'd be kind of silly to um, to put it all into the car and then find out that it's not correct. But I think this is right. It kind of makes sense that you have the brake boost chamber and or the vacuum chamber on the brake side and where the sensor is. I think that's correct. But uh, I shall report back if, uh, if it uh, has to be changed. Anyway, that's how we are, hopefully, how we are going to provide a vacuum assist to the brakes in our EV. And from what I can see, this thing is not taking a great deal of current and doesn't take very long to, uh, to turn itself off. And it stays turned off. Uh, I don't know how many, like I say, I don't know how many pumps of the brake I'll get before the thing starts, kicks off again, but it seems to be going well at the minute. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.